Now, it turns out the vegan-friendly spread, just mayo, just isn't all that it's cracked up to be. The Food and Drug Administration says it's not really mayo because it doesn't contain eggs. The food startup company that makes the spread Hampton Creek has raised $120 million in funding, and it's backed by Bill Gates. It calls itself the world's fastest-growing food company, but it's not the first time the company has run into trouble over its Just Mayo brand. Joining us now from San Francisco is Hampton Creek CEO Josh Tetrick. Also joining us from Washington is Bloomberg News reporter Anna Edney. Uh, Scott, let's, let's start with you. This is not the first time you have been challenged on calling yourself mayonnaise. Unilever also challenged you. Uh, what's the argument you're making to keep the name? Uh, the argument we're making is that the standard of identity for mayonnaise, uh, first off, is about mayonnaise, not mayo. Uh, you got to contain an egg yolk containing ingredient. You need at least 65% oil. Uh, and we call the product mayo, and we do say that it's egg free. But I do think, Olivia, important to point out, you know, we started the company for a point. We started it to have an impact, to use less water, to use less land, uh, to take out some sodium, to take out cholesterol. Uh, and, and I'm really optimistic the FDA, the good folks there, sort of see the, the deeper purpose of what we're doing besides the fact that we're not actually using the term mayonnaise. And if you ask Unilever 34 days later from uh, the, the moment they filed the lawsuit, they withdrew it. And I think they withdrew it because they saw the, the impact we're having and we're pretty straight on the legal merits too. Uh, Anna, let's bring you in here on the FDA angle. I mean, who knew the FDA even regulated mayonnaise? Why are they even involved in this? Yeah, that's been an interesting uh, um, comment that's come up as this has unfolded. Um, the FDA has standard of identities for tons of food, um, you know, dairy and cheese products. And now we're finding out for mayo as well, um, you know, they want to make sure that when you go to the grocery store and you buy a product, you have some assurance of that it is what it claims to be. And so that's where they've gotten involved in um, trying to make sure that food is sort of meeting a certain definition. Uh, Josh, the uh, New York Times is reporting that some egg companies are worried that if you're making mayonnaise without eggs, that's going to be bad news for their business. Do you think it's the egg companies lobbying against you? Well, I mean, yesterday the Associated Press reported that uh, the USDA's American Egg Board uh, was pretty involved uh, in, a, in a larger campaign uh, to try to discredit our work, uh, paying bloggers uh, who didn't disclose that they were paid by the USDA's American Egg Board, even paying someone to call Whole Foods, our good friends there, to attempt to block the distribution of our product. And I think good on Whole Foods. It's, it's a principle-centered company. They, they didn't uh, have any response to it. They decided to keep us on the shelves, and we continue to do really well with them. But I think, again, the larger point, some folks have asked me, well, why not just put dressing underneath it? Why, why do you care so much about mayo? And I think the answer is we didn't start this company to be a mayo company. As much as I might like that product, we started the company to say, if you could start over in food, what the hell would that look like? And we think if you start over in food, the thing that's a little bit better for the body, that's a little bit better for the environment, would taste better and would be, would be less expensive. And whatever enables us to do that, especially if we can use natural ingredients, we're going to do that. We're going to do it fast. And I wouldn't be surprised if this, is the last, if this isn't the last time that we have some of these issues. But, you know, we, we didn't start this company to play small. We started to have a deeper, uh, a more important impact on our food system. Yeah.